Section One of Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Allingham. Read for LibriVox.org by Roslyn Carlyle. The Fairies. Up the airy mountain, down the rushy glen, we daren't go a hunting for fear of little men. We folk, good folk, trooping all together, green jacket, red cap and white owl's feather down along the rocky shore some make their home they live on crispy pancakes of yellow tide foam some in the reeds of the black mountain lake with frogs for their watchdogs all night awake high on the hilltop the old king sits he is now so old and grey He's nigh lost his wits. With a bridge of white mist, Columb Kill he crosses on his stately journeys from Sleeve League to Rosses. Or going up with music on cold starry nights to sup with the queen of the gay northern lights. They stole little Bridget for seven years long. When she came down again, her friends were all gone. They took her lightly back, between the night and morrow. They thought that she was fast asleep, but she was dead with sorrow. They have kept her ever since, deep within the lake, on a bed of flag leaves, watching till she wake. By the craggy hillside, through the mosses bare, they have planted thorn trees for pleasure here and there is any man so daring as dig them up in spite he shall find their sharpest thorns in his bed at night up the airy mountain down the rushy glen we dare and go a-hunting for fear of little men we folk good folk trooping all together green jacket red cap and white owl's feather. End of section one. This recording is in the public domain. Section two of Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Allingham. Read for LibriVox.org by Roslyn Carlyle. The Elf Singing. An elf sat on a twig. He was not very big. He sang a little song. He did not think it wrong. But he was on a wizard's ground, who hated all sweet sound. Elf, elf, take care of yourself. He's coming behind you to seize you and bind you and stifle your song. The wizard, the wizard, he changes his shape in crawling along. An ugly old ape, a poisonous lizard. A spotted spider, a wormy glider. The wizard, the wizard, he's up on the bough. He'll bite through your gizzard, he's close to you now. The elf went on with his song. It grew more clear and strong. It lifted him into air. He floated singing away with rainbows in his hair. While the wizard worm from his creep made a sudden leap, fell down into a hole and ere his magic word he could say was eaten up by a mole end of section two this recording is in the public domain section three of rhymes for the young folk by william allingham read for librivox dot org by roslyn carlyle the fairy king High on the hilltop the old king sits, he is now so old and grey, he's nigh lost his wits. The fairy king was old, he met the witch of the wold. Aha, king, quoth she, now thou art old like me. Nay, witch, quoth he, I am not old like thee. The king took off his crown. It almost bent him down. His age was too great to carry 
such a weight. Give it here, she said, and clapped it on her head. Crown sank to ground, the witch no more was found. Then sweet spring songs were sung. The fairy king grew young, his crown was made of flowers. He lived in woods and bowers. End of section three. This recording is in the public domain. Section four of Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Allingham. Read for LibriVox.org by Rosalind Carlyle. Chorus of Fairies. Golden, golden, light unfolding, Busily, merrily, work and play. In flowery meadows and forest shadows, All the length of a summer day, All the length of a summer day. Sprightly, lightly, sing we rightly, Moments brightly hurry away, Fruit tree blossoms and roses bosoms, Clear blue sky of a summer day, dear blue sky of a summer day. Springlets, brooklets, greeny nooklets, hill and valley and salt sea spray. Comrade rovers, fairy lovers, all the length of a summer day, all the livelong summer day. End of section four. This recording is in the public domain. Section 5 of Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Allingham Read for LibriVox.org by Rosalind Carlyle Robin Redbreast Goodbye, goodbye to summer, for summer's nearly done. The garden smiling faintly, Cool breezes in the sun. Our thrushes now are silent, our swallows flown away, but robins here in coat of brown, with ruddy breast not gay. Robin, robin, red breast, oh robin dear, robin singing sweetly in the falling of the year. Bright yellow, red, and orange, the leaves come down in hosts. The trees are Indian princes, but soon they'll turn to ghosts. The scanty pears and apples hang russet on the bough. It's autumn, autumn, autumn late. Twill soon be winter now. Robin, Robin Redbreast, oh Robin dear. And well away, my Robin, for pinching times are near. The fireside for the cricket. The wheat stack for the mouse, when trembling night winds whistle and moan all round the house. The frosty ways like iron, the branches plumed with snow. Alas, in winter, dead and dark, where can poor Robin go? Robin, Robin Redbreast, oh Robin dear, and a crumb of bread for Robin. His little heart to cheer. End of section five. This recording is in the public domain. Section six of Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Allingham. Read for LibriVox.org by Roslyn Carlyle. Amy Margaret. Amy Margaret's five years old. Amy Margaret's hair is gold, dearer twenty thousandfold than gold is Amy Margaret. Amy is friend, is Margaret the pearl for crown or carcanet? Or peeping daisy, summer's pet, which are you, Amy Margaret? A friend, a daisy, and a pearl, a kindly, simple, precious girl. Such howsoe'er the world may twirl, be ever, Amy Margaret. End of section six. This recording is in the public domain. Section seven of Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Allingham. 
Read for LibriVox.org by Roslyn Carlyle. Jingle Jangle Jingle Jangle, Riot and Wrangle, What shall we do with people like you? Here's Jingle, there's Jangle, Here's Riot, there's Wrangle, Never was seen such a turbulent crew. You north must go to a hut of snow, you south in a trice to an island of spice you off to persia and sit on a hill you to that chair and be five minutes still end of section seven this recording is in the public domain Section eight of Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Allingham. Read for LibriVox.org by Rosalind Carlyle. Dreaming. A strange little dream on a long star beam ran down from the midnight skies to curly haired Fred asleep in his bed with the lids on his merry blue eyes. Under each lid the thin dream slid and spread to a picture inside a new world there most strange and rare though just by our garden side rivers and rocks and a treasure box and floating in air without wings and the speaking beast and a royal feast my chair beside the kings a land of flowers and of lofty towers carved over in marble white with living shapes of panthers and apes that gambol in ceaseless flight and a cellar small with its cave in the wall stretching many a mile underground and the rope from the moon fred woke too soon for its end could never be found end of section eight this recording is in the public domain Section 9 of Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Ellingham. Read for LibriVox.org by Hihi -hi Kitty. I love you, dear. I love you, dear. I love you, dear. You can think how I love you, dear. Supposing I were a butterfly, I'd wave around and above you, dear. A long way off I spied you, dear. No bonnet or head could hide you, dear. If I were a bird, believe my word, I'd sing every day beside you, dear. When you're away, I miss you, dear. And now you're here, I kiss you, dear. And beg you will take this flower for my sake. And my love along with this, you, dear. End of section 9. This recording is in the public domain. Section 10 of Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Ellingham. Read for LibriVox.org by Fiddlesticks. Seasons. In springtime the forest, in summer the sea, in autumn the mountains, in winter, ah me! How gay the old branches, a swarm with new buds, the primrose and bluebell fresh blown in the woods all green things unfolding where merry birds sing i love in the woodlands to wander in spring what joy when the sea waves in mirth and in might spread purple in shadow flash white into light the gale fills the sail and the gull flies away in crimson and gold sets the long summer day o oh, pride on the mountains to leave earth below the great slopes of heather one broad purple glow the loud roaring torrent leaps bound after bound to plains of gold autumn with mist creeping round ah wind is it winter yes winter is here with snow in the meadow and ice on the mere the daylight is short but the firelight is long our skating's good sport then story and song in springtime the forest in summer the sea in autumn the mountains and winter has glee. End of section 10
This recording is in the public domain. Section 11 of Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Allingham Read for LibriVox.org by Rosalind Carlyle The Cat and the Dog There once lived a man, a cat and a dog, and the man built a house with stone and log. If you'll help to take care of this house with me, one indoors, one out, your places must be. Said both together, Indoors I'll stay, and they argued the matter for half a day. Come, let us sing for it, purrs the cat. No, barks the dog, I won't do that. Come, let us fight for it, growls Bow Wow. Nay, says Pussy, meow, meow. Well, let us race for it, said and done. The course is marked out, and away they run. Puss bounded off, the dog ran fast. Quickly was Puss overtaken and passed. But a beggar, who under the hedge did lie, struck the poor dog as he galloped by. A blow with his staff, and lessened his pace, to a limp. So Pussy won the race. The beggar went on his way to beg. Dog was cured of his limping leg. And cat keeps the inside of the house, watching it well from rat and mouse. Dog keeps the outside ever since then, and always barks at beggar men. End of section 11. This recording is in the public domain. Section 12 of Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Allingham. Read for LibriVox.org by Jill Ingle. Here and There, a Juvenile Chorus. Where's Lucy? Where's Lucy? Far, far in the wood, with wild birds for playmates and beech nuts for food. No, here she is, here she is, happy and gay, with singing and ringing to join in our lay. Where's Gerald? Where's Gerald? He's out in the snow. The star shining keenly, the cold wind doth blow. No, here he is, here he is, happy and gay, with singing and ringing to join in our lay. Where's Evie? Where's Evie? She's lost in the fog. Go seek her, go find her with man and with dog. No, here she is, here she is, happy and gay, with singing and ringing to join in our lay. Where's Henry, where's Henry, poor Henry's afloat, the sea waves all round him high tossing his boat. No, here he is, here he is, happy and gay, with singing and ringing to join in our lay. Where's Charlie, where's Charlie, in China dwells he, he wears a long pigtail, perpetually drinks tea. No, here he is, here he is, happy and gay, with singing and ringing to join in our lay. Where's Johnny, where's Johnny, in Nubia, I know, he has climbed a tall palm tree, a lion's below. No, here he is, here he is, happy and gay, with singing and ringing to join in our lay. Where's Mary, where's Mary, young Mary's asleep, 
and round her white pillow the little dreams creep no here she is here she is happy and gay with singing and ringing to join in our lay where's bertha where's bertha she has wings she can fly she has flown to the bright moon look up there and spy no here she is here she is happy and gay with singing and ringing to join in our lay ad infinitum end of section twelve this recording is in the public domain Section 13 of Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Allingham. Read for LibriVox.org by Lynn Thompson. The Bird. Birdie, birdie, will you pet? Summertime is far away yet. You'll have silken quilts and a velvet bed and a pillow of satin for your head. I'd rather sleep in the ivy wall. No rain comes through, though I hear it fall. The sun peeps gay at dawn of day, and I sing and wing away, away. Oh, birdie, birdie, will you pet? Diamond stones and amber and jet will string for a necklace fair and fine to please this pretty bird of mine. Oh, thanks for diamonds and thanks for jet, but there is something daintier yet, a feather necklace round and round that I wouldn't sell for a thousand pound. Oh, birdie, birdie, won't you pet? We'll buy you a dish of silver fret, a golden cup and an ivory seat and carpet soft beneath your feet. Can running water be drunk from gold? Can a silver dish the forest hold? A rocking twig is the finest chair and the softest paths lie through the air. Goodbye, goodbye to my lady fair. End of section 13. This recording is in the public domain. Section 14 of Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Allingham. Read for LibriVox.org by Lynn Thompson. Wishing. Ring ting, I wish I were a primrose, a bright yellow primrose blowing in the spring the stooping boughs above me the wandering bee to love me the fern and moss to creep across and the elm tree for our king nay stay i wish i were an elm tree a great lofty elm tree with green leaves gay the winds would set them dancing the sun and moonshine glancing the birds would house among the boughs and sweetly sing Oh, no, I wish I were a robin, a robin or a little wren everywhere to go, through forest, field or garden, and ask no leave or pardon, till winter comes with icy thumbs to ruffle up our wing. Well, tell, where should I fly to? Where go to sleep in the dark wood or dell? Before a day was over, here comes the rover, for mother's kiss, sweeter this, than any other thing. End of section 14. This recording is in the public domain. Section 15 of Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Allingham. Read for LibriVox.org by Rosalind Carlyle. I saw a little birdie fly. I saw a little birdie fly, merrily piping came he. Whom do you sing to, bird? said I. Sing? I sing to Amy. Very sweet you sing, I said. Then, quoth he, to pay me, give one little crumb of bread, a little smile from Amy. Just, he sings, one little smile, oh, a frown would slay me. Thanks, and now I'm gone a while. Fare you well, dear Amy. End of section 15. This recording is in the public domain.
Section 16 of Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Allingham Read for LibriVox.org by He He Kitty A Mountain Round Take hands, merry neighbors, for dancing the round Moonlight is fair and delicious the air from valley to valley our music shall sound and startle the wolf in his lair from summits of snow to the forest below let vulture and crow hear the echoes ho 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 while shadow on meadow in dancing the round goes worthy gig pair after pair end of section sixteen this recording's in the public domain section seventeen of rhymes for the young folk by william allingham read for librivox dot org by roslyn carlyle the leprechaun or fairy shoemaker little cowboy what have you heard up on the lonely rath's green mound only the plaintive yellow bird sighing in sultry fields around chary 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 chee only the grasshopper and the bee tip tap rip rap tick a tack doo scarlet leather sewn together this will make a shoe left right pull it tight summer days are warm underground in winter laughing at the storm lay your ear close to the hill do you not catch the tiny clamour busy click of an elfin hammer voice of the leprechaun singing shrill as he merrily plies his trade he's a span and a quarter in height get him in sight hold him tight and you're a made man you watch your cattle the summer day sup on potatoes sleep in the hay how would you like to roll in your carriage look for a duchess's daughter in marriage seize the shoemaker then you may big boots a-hunting sandals in the hall white for a wedding feast pink for a ball this way that way so we make a shoe getting rich every stitch tick tack too nine and ninety treasure crocks this keen miser fairy hath hid in mountains woods and rocks and where the cormorants build from times of old guarded by him each of them filled full to the brim with gold i caught him at work one day myself in the castle ditch where foxglove grows a wrinkled wizened and bearded elf spectacles stuck on his pointed nose silver buckles to his hose leather apron shoe in his lap rip rap tip tap tack tack too a green cricket on my cap away the moth flew buskins for a fairy prince brogues for his son pay me well pay me well when the job is done the rogue was mine beyond a doubt i stared at him he stared at me servant sir humph says he and pulled a snuff-box out he took a long pinch looked better pleased the queer little leprechaun offered the box with a whimsical grace poof he flung the dust in my face and while i sneezed was gone end of section seventeen this recording is in the public domain Section 18 of Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Allingham Read for LibriVox.org by Roslyn Carlyle Yes or No Yes or No Stay or Go He never can tell, he never will know We must not wait, we'll all be late While Barnaby puzzles his queer little pate What do you say? off and away make up your mind to go or to stay fix on your plan step out like a man 
and follow your nose as fast as you can. End of section 18. This recording is in the public domain. Section 19 of Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Allingham. Read for LibriVox.org by Julia Lane of MissJuliaAlice.com. Sleeping. Do all your sleeping at night, for then Nitty Naughty is right. But awake you must keep, and it won't do to sleep. In the middle of broad daylight, the sun at the end of the day takes his mighty great candle away. A curtain on high is drawn over the sky, and the stars peep through if they may. There's the curtain of night over all. There's our window curtain so small, and least in their size, over Emily's eyes, her fringed little eyelids will fall. She kneels at the side of her bed, and softly her prayers are said. Now a kiss, my dear, come angels near, and keep watch round the little one's bed. End of section 19. This recording is in the public domain. Section 20 of Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Allingham. Read for LibriVox.org by Rachel. Section 20 A Swing Song. Swing, swing, sing, sing. Here's my throne and I am a king. Swing, sing, swing, sing. Farewell, earth, for I'm on the wing. Low, high, here I fly. Like a bird through sunny sky, free, free, over the lea, over the mountain, over the sea. Up, down, up and down, which is the way to London town? Where, where, up in the air, close your eyes and now you are there. Soon, soon, afternoon, over the sunset, over the moon. Far, far, over all bar, sweeping on from star to star. No, no, low, low, sweeping daisies with my toe. Slow, slow, to and fro. Slow, 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 slow. End of section 20. Section 21 of Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Allingham Read for LibriVox.org by Julia Lane Birds' Names Of creatures with feathers, come let us see, which have names like you and me. Hook-nosed pole that thinks herself pretty, everyone knows of all birds most witty. Friendly daw in suit of gray, ask his name, and Jack he'll say, Pert Philip Sparrow, hopping you meet. Philip Philip in garden and street, bold Robin Redbreast perches near, and sings his best in the fall of the year. Grave Madge Allet shuns the light, and shouts, hoo hoo, in the woods at night. Nightingale sweet, that May loves well, old poets have called her Philomel, but Philomelus he sings best, while she sits listening in her nest. Darty Martin, tell me why, they call you Martin, I know not I martin the black under cottages martin the small in sandy caves merry willy wagtail what runs he takes wherever he stops his tail he shakes head and tail little jenny wren perks as in and out of the hedge she jerks brisk tom tit the lover of trees picks off every fly and grub he sees mag the cunning chattering pie builds her home in a treetop high Mag, you're a terrible thief, oh fie. Tom and Philip and Jenny and Polly. Madge and Martin and Robin and Willie. Philomelus and friendly Jack. Mag the rogue, half white, half black. Stole an egg from every bird. Such an uproar was never heard. All of them flew upon Mag together and plucked her naked of every feather. You're not a bird, they told her then. You may go away and live among men. End of section 21. This recording is in the public domain.
Section twenty two of Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Allingham. Read for LibriVox.org by Roslyn Carlyle. Down on the Shore Down on the shore, on the sunny shore, where the salt smell cheers the land, where the tide moves bright under boundless light, and the surge on the glittering strand, where the children wade in the shallow pools or run from the froth in play, while the swift little boats with milk-white wings are crossing the sapphire bay. And the ship in full sail with a fortunate gale holds proudly on her way, where the nets are spread on the grass to dry, and asleep hard by the fishermen lie, under the tent of the warm blue sky, with the hushing wave on its golden floor to sing their lullaby. Down on the shore, on the stormy shore, beset by a growling sea, whose mad waves leap on the rocky steep like wolves up a traveller's tree, where the foam flies wide in an angry blast, blows the curlew off with a screech, where the brown sea rack torn up by the roots is flung out of fish's reach, and the tall ship rolls on the hidden shoals and scatters her planks on the beach where slate and straw through the village spin, and a cottage fronts the fiercest din, with a sailor's wife sitting sad within, hearkening the wind and the water's roar, till at last her tears begin. End of section 22. This recording is in the public domain. Section 23 of Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Allingham. Read for LibriVox.org by Roslyn Carlyle. The Bubble. See the pretty planet, floating sphere, faintest breeze will fan it, far or near. World as light as feather, moonshine rays, rainbow tints together as it plays. Drooping, sinking, failing, nigh to earth. Mounting, whirling, sailing, full of mirth. Life there welling, flowing, waving round. Pictures coming, going, without sound. Quick now, be this airy globe repelled. Never can the fairy star be held. Touched, it in a twinkle disappears, Leaving but a sprinkle, as of tears. End of section 23. This recording is in the public domain. Section 24 of Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Allingham. Read for LibriVox.org by Roslyn Carlyle. Nick Spence. Nick Spence, Nick Spence, sold the cow for sixpence. When his master scolded him, Nicky didn't care. Put him in the farmyard, the stable yard, the stack yard. Send him to the pigsty and Johnny to the fair. End of section 24. This recording is in the public domain. Section 25 of Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Allingham. Read for LibriVox.org by Julia Lane. Ambition. The Sea as smooth as silk, and froth of it like new milk, and the sky a wonderful blue. The cliff harebells have it too, and scattered all over the shore a thousand children or more. Suppose we join one willed, a city of sand to build, with a rampart broad and strong, from rock to rock along, solid and firm enough to last till the sea grows rough, and the days turn chilly and short, the end of our seaside sport, when we all must bundle and pack, and swift in the train go back, big folk and little folk, to London lamps and smoke. Let us draw out our plan to-night, begin it with morning light, we'll bring all the children together, and build in the sweet sunny weather. What use in a house of sand, but a city, that would be grand, oh yes, I'm sure it will stand. And I, who first thought of the thing, perhaps they will make me king. End of section 25. 
This recording is in the public domain. Section 26 of Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Allingham. Read for LibriVox.org by J.P. for K.J.V. The Ball All men, black, brown, red, yellow, white, are brethren in their father's sight. To do each other good is right, but not to wrangle, steal, or fight. A thousand millions, young and old, some in the heat, some in the cold, upon this ball of earth are rolled around the sun's great flame of gold and this great sun is like indeed one daisy in a daisied mead for god's power doth all thought exceed and of us also he takes heed end of section twenty six this recording is in the public domain Section 27 of Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Allingham Read for LibriVox.org by Roslyn Carlyle Riding His lordship's steed of a noble breed Is trotting it fleetly, fleetly. Her ladyship's pony, sleek and bonny, Cantering neatly, neatly. How shall they pass, the turf cadger's ass, Creels and all, creels and all. Man on him bumping, shouting and thumping, heels and all, heels and all. Lane is not wide, a hedge on each side. The ass is beginning to pray. Now, says my lord with an angry word, fellow, get out of the way. Ha, says the cadger, as bold as a badger, this way is my way too says the lady mild and sweetly smiled my friend that's perfectly true the cadger looked round then jumped to the ground and into the hedge pulled neddy oh thank you says she ax pardon says he and touched his old hat to the lady his lordship's steed of a noble breed went trotting it fleetly fleetly her ladyship's pony sleek and bonny cantering neatly neatly the cadger he rode as well as he could heels and all heels and all jolting and bumping shouting and thumping creels and all creels and all end of section twenty seven this recording is in the public domain section twenty eight of rhymes for the young folk by william allingham Read for LibriVox.org by Roslyn Carlyle Tom Cricket Tom Cricket, he sat in his hole in the wall, close to the kitchen fire. Up and down ran the cockroaches all, redcoats and blackcoats, great and small. Ho, oh, Tom, our hearts are set on a ball, and your music we desire. Tom sat in his hole, his horns hung out. He played away on his fiddle. The cockroaches danced in a rabble rout, scrambling and scurrying all about, though they had their own steps and figures, no doubt, hands across and down the middle, till, stay, says a fat one, we're no elves, to dance all night without stopping, now for supper. They helped themselves, for the servants were gone to bed, on shelves and tables, they quested by tens and twelves, and quick to the floor kept dropping. As a cockroach ran by, says Tom Cricket to him, Fetch me up a piece of potato. Good sir, to mix in the crowd I'm too slim, says Jack Cockroach. I see you are proud and prim, to eat alone is merely your whim, which I never will give way to. Come down, says he, and look out for your share. I won't do that, says Tom Cricket, and when for another dance they care, and call upon Tom for a lively air, they find he has drawn himself back in his lair. How shameful, they cry, how wicked! Let's fill up the mouth of his cave with soot, because he's behaved so badly. They ran up and down the wall to do it, but ere half done a dreadful salute. In came the cook, 
and the scullion to boot, and off they all scampered madly. End of section 28. This recording is in the public domain. Section 29 of Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Allingham. Read for LibriVox.org by Roslyn Carlyle. The Year of Hardships. January, bitter, very. February, damp, sir. March blows on April's nose. May has caught the cramp, sir. June, without a sun or moon. July, August many a raw gust september october november december ten times worse than i ever remember no apples or hay or honey or corn i'm sure it wasn't a fat year whenever you and i were born good luck it wasn't in that year end of section twenty nine this recording is in the public domain Section 30 of Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Allingham. Read for LibriVox.org by J.P. for K.J.V. A Riddle What I say you'll scarce believe, yet my words shall not deceive. I saw what seemed a little boy with a face of life and joy. He danced, he ran, he nodded, he smiled, just like any other child, but could not speak. How strange was this! or cry or breathe nor could i kiss to save my life the cherry red of lips not living and not dead he was no picture statue doll he was not a child at all he was nothing as near as could be he was as real as you or me there he is turn and see end of section thirty this recording is in the public domain End of The Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Allingham